hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about the applications advantages limitations of phased array antennas so you know phased array antennas are nothing but a group of antennas what is the purpose of phased array antennas to steer the beam in a particular direction without orienting the plate of antenna okay uh, normally when you are going for the tracking radars we need to we need to rotate the antenna plate in the direction in which the target is moving but for that rotation we need a servo mechanism and uh, some sort of a, a mechanical energy but this type of uh, phased array antennas have introduced for not to to not to change the direction of antenna direction of antenna just in order to uh, rotate the radiation pattern we are giving different types of phase differences between the elements such the elements are n number of elements are there in the phased array antennas okay that is the main purpose of this uh, phased array antennas let us see what are the various applications we have in this uh, phased array antennas the phase array and the phased array antennas have wide range of applications and engineers have shown a considerable interest on them because its properties are different from those of other antennas this is what i said normally uh, uh, normal antennas are used to just radiate the power into the free space but their uh, antenna is fixed and that radiation pattern is uh, constant in one direction depending on the plate direction okay that cannot be rotated if you want to change the direction of the radiation pattern definitely you know you need to change the direction of the plate okay but in to overcome that we are using phased array antennas that is having additional property than the conventional antennas phased air antennas are electrically steerable which means the physical antenna can be stationary this concept can eliminate all the headaches of glimpses in a radar system this is what i have explained so far so a phased array uh, may be used to point a fixed radiation pattern or to scan rapidly in edge mode and elevation all these points I have discussed it so far. The phased array is used for instance in optical communication as a wavelength selective splitter. And it is also used in AM broadcasting, amplitude modulation broadcasting. Broadcasting means is nothing but it is used to transmit the uh, information from one, phase, one point to multi point. So, broadcasting. The phased arrays are required to be used in. Uh, used by many AM broadcast radio stations to enhance signal strength and therefore average in the city of license while minimizing the interference to their other areas. So when we are transmitting uh, information from one point to multi point, uh, this uh, ready uh, phased array antennas are used to boost up the signal in any metropolitan city surroundings. And as well as FM broadcasting is also used here, FM broadcasting like our radios. Okay, on very high frequency, the phased array antennas are used extensively for FM broadcasting because FM broadcasting is nothing but definitely we are talking about high frequency signals, very high frequency signals. These greatly increase the antenna gain, magnifying the emitted RF energy toward the horizon which in turn greatly increases the station's broadcast range. So novel uses, these are the different applications, so AM broadcasting, FM broadcasting, novel uses, and novel uses we know, like um, uh, phased array antenna systems are used by a warships of several NATOs in the Aegis combat systems, phased arrays yellow, a warship to use one data system for surface detection and tracking aid detection and tracking and missile uplink capabilities so when we are launching a missile on to the particular uh, target enemy is definitely we should uh, use this uh, phased array group of handles we can identify to detect the position of enemy target so we can use the message you can use this uh, phased array handles even in space communication also the messenger spacecraft is a mission to the planetary Mercury, planet Mercury and which is the first deep space mission to use the phased array and in our communication. Weather research uses, optics we can use, radio frequency identifications, RFIDs. In RFID communication also we can use these phased array antennas for somewhat more reliable communication. 
so we will now discuss uh, various advantages and limitations of these phased array antennas first let us see the advantages of these phased array antennas whatever the points we have discussed so far in the applications point of view all the points that we can write them as advantages okay the switching speed of the phased array shifters phase shifters can be used to time limit the beam from an error switch from one position to another position we are using phase shifters phase shifter what is the purpose of phase shifter depending on serial feeds or parallel feeds so we are using phase shifter so when i was explaining the concepts of serial feeds and parallel feeds i told you phase shifter phase shifter is used to incorporate or introduce a phase difference of phi a phase of phi okay previous the successive elements should not have a different phase differences they should have a common phase difference in uh, for that we are using we are introducing phase shifters in between the um, antennas so that a phase difference of phi should be maintained among the antennas or elements a single aperture can generate many simultaneous independent beams okay single aperture can generate many simultaneous independent beams a high total power can be obtained from a single transmitter by feeding each element of the array with a separate high power transmitter and the output is made in space so how will be the structure of a phase array antennas we are having group of antennas okay this is one antenna this is another antenna this is third antenna and so on we will be having n number of antennas are grouped together all these n number of antennas are originated by a single power source okay so what we are doing we are using the single transmitter that is going to be splitted among all these transmitting antennas so that the each and every element is responsible to generate the radiation pattern that too a high total power is going to be obtained from a single transmitter c by feeding each element this one this one this one so on n elements of array with a separate high power transmitter and the outputs made in space the radiation patterns with extremely low side lobes the radiation pattern with extremely low side lobes are with a shaped main beam may be achieved since the magnitude and phase of each array element may be individually controlled see here uh, suppose whenever you are talking about the radiation pattern in the case of phased array antennas the phased array antennas have a radiation pattern with a clean information like this it doesn't have any side lobes normally when you are asked to dry um, what is this a lobe a radiation pattern in the uh, what is that um, antennas and wave propagation along with this main lobe you will also draw some sort of uh, uh, side lobes okay so what is the purpose of side lobes side lobes are nothing but which are unnecessary things okay the main lobe carries the information and it is having maximum gain but the remaining beams which are small and less strength they are of course wasting the power they are not containing any information so but some sort of leakage power is going to be transmitted in the form of these side lobes but these side lobes are not there in the case of your phased array antennas phased array antennas when we are using the maximum radiation pattern whichever is having the more information that will be maximum that is the case generated and remaining all are almost eliminated okay these array elements have distributed nature that is these can fail gradually rather than all at once okay suppose if you are taking all these group antennas all these antennas cannot fail at a time okay suppose we are having a one antenna in our home dish antenna if that fails signal will be lost but here in the phased array antennas we will be we are having group of antennas n number of group of antennas if one antenna fails it doesn't mean that the entire system fails okay remaining are working that is the good point we need to be we need to consider in the case of phased array antennas when the radar is on a platform such as ship or aircraft the ability to steer 
the beam electronically can be used to stabilize the beam direction okay and then whenever we are using this radar system on airships or aircrafts the ability of this uh, a phased array antennas that it can steer the beam electronically by without any uh, manipulating the operations so just by changing the phase difference between the successive elements you can achieve this operation like uh, steering the beam now coming to the limitations limitations uh, of this phased array antennas the major limitations that has limited the widespread use of the conventional phased array antennas in the uh, radar is communication is nothing but it's a high cost Phased array antennas as it is using more number of elements and a single uh, uh, energy source is required to transmit power to equally to all the elements there we need energy splitter. What are the why it is high cost can you describe because high cost it is having <coughs> number of elements first point is number of antennas or number of elements that is first point and the second point is we are using phase shifters okay suppose n number of uh, elements are there n minus one phase shifter should be used and the next one uh, power splitter should be used power splitter okay because the input energy has to be taken and uh, splitted among m number of elements so okay power splitters have to be used so because of these additional uh, components uh, involvements it, the cost of the phased array antennas may be more increasing the number of beams the complexity of the array radar increases so number of uh, beams if you want to transmit the complexity of this uh, phased array antennas will increase the change of mutual coupling that accompanies a change in the beam position makes the maintenance of low side lobes more difficult when planar array is scanned electronically electrically so a separate maintenance is required when the graceful degradation has goes too far okay so uh, maintenance is required as we are using a number of elements definitely a maintenance should be taken but that gives uh, one of the that treat that treated as one of the limitations of our considerations Thank you. These are the applications, advantages, limitations of this phased array antennas.